news from the region and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Good evening and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Amber Nissen. A Florida State Fair ride owner is behind bars tonight. According to the Tampa Police Department, Alex Pala tried to pay for sex acts from a 14-year-old boy. Pala was caught after police received a tip from an unidentified man. And an unknown culprit burned down the trailer where Jessica Lunsford was held. According to the TampaBay.com, convicted murderer John Cooey's former trailer was vacant during the fire. Citrus County officials are calling the fire suspicious. And Bay Area residents may soon face tougher water restrictions. Wolf Hurt has more from the newsroom. Wolf? That's right, Amber, and that's because Tampa Bay Water's 15 billion gallon reservoir is only about a month away from being completely dry. Right now, the Bay Area is under what is called Phase 3 water restrictions, and according to TBO.com, Tampa Bay Water is looking to move up to Phase 4, which would mean further reducing the time homeowners can water their lawns, limiting car washes, and turning off fountains. The Water District plans to address the situation at their February 24th meeting. In the newsroom, I'm Wolf Hurd. Back to you, Amber. Thanks, Wolf. And some Bay Area stations are making the digital switch before the new June 12th deadline. Crystal Messenger has the story. Beginning tomorrow, the digital switch reaches Tampa Bay. According to the St. Petersburg Times, WEDU Channel 3, WVEA Channel 62, and WTTA Channel 38 will all turn their analog signals off as scheduled on February 17th. WUSF-TV Channel 16 has decided to leave its analog signal on until April 3rd. And according to TBO.com, channels 8, 10, 13, and 28 are all preparing for a June 12th turnoff, but would like to make the switch sooner. For Florida Focus, I'm Crystal Messenger. And finally, a recently adopted cat has returned the favor to his new owner. According to Bay News 9, Elijah alerts diabetic owner Pete Shoot when his blood sugar is too high. So shoot no longer feels a need to use his diabetic monitor. Thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow.